So, I get on the court. I feel like I can't pick up any moves. I'm just an uncoordinated play. Mm. All right. I'm working on things on the court. Are there anything, any exercises I can do to just make me an overall better, more coordinated mover yeah. in this environment? Yeah. And then those things can help me transfer that over to the court. All right, so this is a special question for me to answer because I am currently in my journey yeah. to learn how to be a better basketball player. Yep. Uh, I'm not afraid to admit that, and I'm pretty good athletically. Yep. I just feel like I have two left feet on the basketball court sometimes. Right. So this speaks well to my own specific personal journey. But I think that anytime I have an athlete that has similar issues is I always want to implement rhythm and timing into anything and everything we do in the weight room. Right. Take that with a grain of salt. We can't <laughs> do linear loaded yeah. training really heavy with rhythm and right. timing. But let's say, for instance, we're doing a warm up. Yeah. An easy way to implement that would be to create what, what we call a hop step. Yep. So a hop step is, is if you put your left foot forward for me. Yep. And then you bring your right foot forward to your left foot and then you step forward with your left foot, mm. but your trunk gets yeah, high. Okay. Yeah. And then you'll go back into the position oh, yeah. that you found. And you're just one, two, one, two. So what you want to try to find is rhythm and timing. Yep. And it almost like feels that. like we're dancing. Yeah, it does. I like this one. Yep. So if you just keep going, I'll explain what we got going on. A, rhythm and timing. We're building coordination, yes, into this movement pattern that may not be rela related to basketball, but it's still forcing the brain to compute, rest. Keep that same footwork, yep. but now I'm gonna give you some load. Oh yeah, let's go. Not a lot, but you're gonna yeah. feel it nonetheless. No. So we have 15 pound dumbbells, same footwork. Okay, leaning forward, except now we're gonna add a pull to press at that front foot step. Reach down, reach high, reach down, reach high. And as you can see, same footwork, same coordination, same rhythm and timing, we're just now making it a resisted exercise. So we're still involving the brain in this movement. Relax, switch sides, let's see if you can get it right oh, away. Oh yeah. Five, four, three, Little doofy, oh, but you're yeah. starting to get it. That's right, yes sir. Outstanding. This side, I don't know if you guys can see it, keep going, is a little less smooth. So yeah. there could be afforded a little bit more rhythm here. Remember, left brain, right brain, and relax. Could be fatigued too. So you can see that there are an array of yeah. methods that we can implement rhythm and timing into a lot of different strength training exercises. Yeah. Another one we can do is just a simple catch game, but we're gonna continuously create the same timing of your footwork right. in conjunction with the catch. Okay. All right, so all you're gonna do is put both hands over the ball. Yep. And when I catch, when I drop, you gotta catch it. Cool. Ready? Two feet. Two feet. Okay. Yeah, just be athletic. Boom. Boom, good. Same rhythm. Boom, good, keep working. Good, try not to anticipate. Good. Okay, how do we implement? rhythm and timing now. So now, when you catch, yeah. you're gonna toss it up, come back to the middle. Cool, Okay. that'll be without the ball. I'll without the ball, and... yep. I'll catch it, come back to the middle, yeah. and we're gonna create a dance. Cool. You ready? And boom, boom. Other side, yep. Rhythm, good. There it is, rhythm and timing, yep. Five more. One, two, good. Yep, hands above, hands above. Good, find that rhythm. Good, last one. And relax. So creating drills, as well as setting an environment that's gonna speak to rhythm and timing. Right. Throwing on music and having yep. people move to the beat of the music. Love it. Doing the hop step drill. Yep. Trying to figure out ways to confuse the brain in conjunction with load is a really good way to build up that coordination, uh, what we call kinesthetic intelligence. And I think 
some of the times it does translate well to basketball maneuvers and sometimes it doesn't. Yep. But what are we doing though? Just building those general qualities. That's it. Yep. Yep. So if you can't dance, then you learn might to want dance. to dance. <laughs> learn how to take a dance class.